Hey guys, Anna here. Welcome to today's video. So today we are in the world of Newcrest and we are building kind of like townhouse Victorian build. So this is a small home. It is two stories, but it is a, a two by one bedroom home. And the concept of this design came about from a reference picture that I had. And the reference picture that I had was very much kind of like, I wanna say it's the front section of this. So that that kind of the bay, the stacked bay window section that you would see quite a lot in Victorian homes. And I just made it kind of like very much like a narrow and tall build. So very much like a townhouse, yeah. And this is such a beautiful home. I really enjoy this build. And I went with, as you can see here, I'm just doing the trimming. Now, originally we have this balcony. I I actually do extend this balcony out so we don't have a balcony at the back but we do at the front and that was very much part of my design and then I then extended out the side of the build this was just an add-on I wasn't originally going to have this section but I thought it really balanced build in terms of the actual exterior and yeah I just went in with these high pitch roofs so a bit of the conceptually the high pitch roof the towered like building and the porches and all of those kind of bay window sections gave it a very Vict uh, Victorian vibe and I then went in with these beautiful arched rounded windows along with I think these are just base game yeah they're just base game and it just absolutely makes this build the front of this build is so beautiful we obviously use a lot of the vampires game pack in this build because that's one of probably what I would say the best kind of Victorian-esque type of DLC that we have for the game if you're looking to build a Victorian. You can do it with obviously base game, but um, I do feel that Vampire's Pack, it just, some of the objects you just can't replace. They're just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, uh, we're going in with some windows. Uh, I do just keep it very, I wouldn't say minimal, but I use what we need. Now the actual lot that we're using is quite a large lot. And I think I do have quite a bit of a side yard. And this build is really beautiful because we have like a garden space really lovely so uh we're just working on the exterior still and i'm just working on those porches and balcony sections i've gone in with the vampires columns of course for this build i think they're absolutely beautiful we go in with the vampires doors and what have you and that top balcony we actually do extend so originally i was just going to put a roof piece which we'll see in a minute but in the end i, I didn't like how it looked and so we just extended it so yeah i'm just going around with some columns so as you can see it's a very small home it doesn't look really small but it's definitely smaller than it actually perceives and I really thought the spandrels were important it kind of gives that a, a little bit of a dated feel and I definitely think with Victorian homes they're going to be a bit old and dated because of the style of home that you're building it, it definitely fits that vibe I do swap the windows over to the other side and then put the door closer to where the stairs are I just think it's good unfortunately this swatch that I went with with the door did have that kind of dirty glass kind of look I I'm not really into it but you know it's okay it's not too bad it's workable we did start off with this pale wood tone flooring but then we changed it to a more of a middle brown and I think that it works so much better than the light tone I just think it's so contrasting to the shape and then we start with the exterior so I went in with this beautiful wallpaper from get together I loved this get together is the other pack that I would just absolutely recommend they're just absolutely beautiful I loved this kind of muted color it really kind of just aged this building and the decorative section in the roof pieces the roof sections of that um of the home it just it's beautiful like this to me is such a pretty little house it almost looks like a dollhouse and I love it so much uh, we did go in with a bit of stone fencing again I went with this because I feel that a lot of older properties they do use a lot of mixes of materials so we've got some stone we've got wood we've got glass and what have you and things like that so I do think it looks really well so we're just mapping out the landscaping I do go in with more of a shingled roof I think it gives it more again we're kind of making the building looking a little bit older and what have you so yeah uh, we do go in a little bit with um some columns but the wallpaper actually had kind of like a faux column look about it so I didn't really need to but yeah I mainly want columns on the pillar parts of the the bay window parts of the build I thought that was really important so we do put a roof at the back and I extend the roof at the front and then this is the section where I believe yes I've just extended that balcony I've drawn in some fences and it just looks a little bit more put together 
with the balcony being extended. So uh, obviously if I wanted to make this house bigger, I could have actually just done a room there and extended the front, but I think it looks okay. And then we went in with these get together fences. I love these. We do change the color to white, which I think is better suited, uh, but they've actually got like little uh, flowers in them or is it like greenery? And it just looks so beautiful. And we use these, um, these were very much inspired by the garden section that we're going to be building. It's this little sitting area and it's honestly the sweetest thing. It, this home was my favorite Victorian home for a very long time. But then I actually, uh, as we saw last in last week's um, video, last Wednesday's video, that, that Victorian home, that Southern Louisiana Victorian home, that has my heart. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously the landscaping is a lot more over the top in that build. Um, I will absolutely put that at the end of this video so that you can watch that build. If you have not yet seen it, it's absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend. So we are starting with the landscaping. So we do just have in, I've actually gone with pavement. I haven't drawn in this terrain, which is interesting, but I think I wanted to do that because I, I don't know, maybe I just wanted it to be a bit more cleaner or I wanted a certain type of pathing. I did feel that this pathing looked very much like I don't know how to explain it but kind of fits the vibe when I think of Victorian I almost think of a little bit British so to me uh, it looks like it's like cobble stone which is very much like a British type uh, I don't know that's how I perceive it <laughs> we went in with these romantic garden stuff plants these are beautiful and these to me just give me that princess type element that elegance that you know this is like exactly a romantic garden so something that you would see in more of a prestige looking home maybe a more elegant looking home and we just put in some rocks and some cypress trees I really love cypress trees because the, uh, these ones in particular are very dark so they're very contrasting to the house I think that that was really important to me and then I do I extend the pathing all the way to the back this little corner here is that little garden that we're talking about so we're just I'm going ahead with that now. So we've got the planters and we use the most beautiful like ballerina statue which we're just placing here and it's so sweet and we just fenced this whole section off and it just looks so magical in here and I've gone in with a little bit of the flooring uh, sorry with a little bit of the the plant uh, grass and it's just so pretty it, it has just this very inviting vibe about it and I think it just makes this house I don't usually build something like this and include it in a home but now that I've done it I think I, I will do it all the time because I just think it's so sweet we do change the pathing on on the porches and the balcony. I just prefer it a little more. And we're just going in with some terrain paint. Terrain paint under all of your um, under all of your flowers and all of your landscaping will always elevate your build. It's always a way to make your build look a little bit more polished and put together, but also realistic. And I really wanted to use that stone fencing around all of the landscaping as well, just to kind of make like faux garden beds because it looks realistic. Uh, we just put a front gate and we are finally inside. So we are gonna work on the floor plan now and we are just, I had to start with the stairs because this is a two story build, but it's also a very narrow build. The stair placement was very important and it was also a very, um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. In the end, we do stick with where the stairs are just here. And what we do is we create a front entrance and then you go through a for an arch and that leads into your living room. And then you have a further arch that goes into the main part of this long section of the build which is the uh, left hand side sorry and you have a beautiful dining space like my favorite part of the whole entire build you'll see that sh soon and that's in that bay window section at the on this left hand side and then you have a kitchen and then you have a bathroom and then upstairs we have the bedroom so we have a child's room which could easily I've made it for a child but you could easily make it for a teenager uh, and then a master bedroom upstairs um, there's also like an office nook and like a playroom nook which we'll see shortly so these are those archways that I was talking about so I do change the one that goes to that dining area that gets changed so I went with uh, this wallpaper from the vampires pack I'm in love with this wallpaper and when I placed this I knew that I had to go to a darker wooden tone I kept the same flooring but I just changed the swatch and that's because I wanted the the wood tone to match with the wood tone of the skirting of the wall the wallpaper I thought that was really important it looks so much more cohesive and then we start the decorating so I I think I decorated this build in a very methodical way because I literally started from the front door 
and worked my way around. So we are working on the entry first. We're not working on the kitchen. I use a lot of clutter. I use some of the everyday clutter kit, as you can see with the, the phone, the bags. I love the paintings. I've been using a lot of these more kind of vintage lamps and I've been really enjoying them. This Strangerville rug is one of my favorites. I've been obsessed with it lately. So we're now moving on into the uh, lounge room. Uh, I loved this decor to the max chair. I thought it was beautiful in this space. A little bit of paranormal stuff with the uh, coffee stand, coffee table, sorry, which is what the TV is on. I just swapped around where the orchids and that cut the candles. I thought that was beautiful. Like it adds a little bit more of that Victorian feel, but it's extra lighting, of course. And these movie hangout curtains have me in like the biggest chokehold. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. And as you guys know from last week, we also used a lot of these cats and dogs kind of vintage ruffled curtains in our um, coastal um, coastal estate build. Uh, that is a beautiful build as well, but I used a lot of them in those builds. Uh, I've also used a lot of it in this build as well. These paintings were quite nice on the stairway. And I've, I've done that in a previous build where I have put, you know, like a lounge room backed onto a stairs and it does look all right. And here we are with the dining space. There is something just so simple about this dining room and I just love it to pieces. We actually add in some spandrels, which is what we're doing now. So we add in our columns and go in with the Victorian spandrels uh, from the vampires pack. And we just go in with these beautiful dark tone flowers with the pots, the blue, and these just are, these are the Desert Lutz kit curtains. And it's such a beautiful space. To me, that's my, it's, it's my favorite room in the house. And it's only like a little, it's just a table, but I love it so much. I think it's so beautiful. And then the kitchen is basically just a long uh, section of counters and what have you, but I thought it was nice. We do use some cabinetry. This is all from the vampires pack. I really love the cabinetry from this pack. I think it's solid. Uh, I love the little uh, kind of notes of pink that are found in this particular swatch with the plates. We were able to inject a little bit of pink in this area, in this living quarters, but also like blue because the blue that's pulled from the dining room, that's really important. And there's still some blue in some of the retainers and stuff. And then what I did was I took these shelving uh, sections from the vampires pack and I just downsized them to fit in that far section. And I thought that was really sweet. Uh, it was really useful because I wanted to use them for sure. And then I found this rug and it was beautiful. So I moved that rug right over to the dining table, used the same one in the main section. And then we went in with that jungle adventure hutch. And I really loved that kind of, it's obviously had the matching wood tones that we wanted for the pack, but it had that kind of, I don't know, I want to say like, um, it just fit the vibe. It just very much fit the vibe. We've used the same curtains. I put the, cl the clutter cups inside the sink. I think that was so cute. I actually saw a friend of mine, Hunter from Twitter, do that. And I just, I, I borrowed that idea. I thought it was really sweet. Uh, so thank you, Hunter, for that. And um, yeah, no, I just went into a lot of pieces, uh, candle. I really loved that, that male hanging piece that we got from the new clutter kit. I've used that here next to the broom. And I just put like a little Christmas kind of decor with a snowman. I just thought it fit, you know, it's that time of the year. I just thought to incorporate. You'll see that uh, definitely when I do more seasonal builds where I'll add in those things. And then I saw this backsplash and I thought, why not? It's from the Jungle Adventure game pack and it's not actually, I wouldn't say it's Victorian, but the patterns were the same color and it kind of looked like it could work. I really love it. And I did the same in the bathroom. I used, I think it's the Realm of Magic wallpaper. I love the tiling from that pack. It's beautiful. And that get together mirror is one of my favorites. I feel like it's something, something so gothic about it. I don't usually use it in the beige swatch, but it worked in this home. So I went with it. Of course, we use these movie hangout curtains all around the build. I've reused the rug from the entryway. Got some pet objects. I, I did kind of make this for like maybe a dog. But now that I think about it, this is probably a home that's definitely suited for a cat. I could imagine like a fluffy white cat just living in this home. So maybe I will go back and change it. All right, we're in the outside section. This is like that entertainment area that I always do. These are from movie hangout stuff, though that kind of boho vibe that came with that pack and those couches are beautiful. I really loved the blue in the cushions. I just put a barbecue, these seating. These are the vampires packs chairs. No vampires pack? No, actually I think they're from movie hangout. Yeah, I think they're from movie, but they're beautiful and I just really love the space I created. All right, now we are moving upstairs. So this is that office nook and I've gone in again with those ruffled cats and dogs curtains and I really love the green. So I pulled the green 
into uh, with the curtains into the, from the chair of the office, but also these uh, university um, chairs. I never use these. Like I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the pattern, but the color was identical. So I went with it and then I went in with that decor to the max lamp and I just think it's such a beautiful space. And I just thought it was really sweet. Like you, you come up and like that's your little office nook. I just went in with some clutter items, some dried flowers. I thought that was really pretty. And then we've got the two bedrooms. So we start with the master. The master, I want to say, <laughs> I want to say that it's ultra fancy, but it's not. It's actually not a very big room. It's a very small master bedroom. I think it just kind of has what it needs. I've gone in with these cats and dogs uh, bedside lamps. I love these things. I use them again in the, uh, I believe it was the coastal, yeah, the coastal estate from last week. And I've just been using them nonstop. I love them so much. I went in with a cottage living um, dresser because it had a mirror in it. And I thought that was really great. The, the red was the same tone and it matched. Alrighty, and now we're into the girl's room. So this is like a child's room. And I wanted full on princess vibes in here. And the pink, I think that was actually from Jungle Adventure, that rug. And it really set the tone. So we changed the wallpaper in here. We've gone in with fairy lights. We've used those movie hangout stuff, curtains on the sides, absolutely beautiful. I do change them to a beige. I don't think the pink is the right tone. We managed to get a desk in here, which I thought was really sweet. And then one of those tall kind of closets, I thought it was really good. And then we just put a few like decor pieces that I thought were really sweet. I could have gone pastel in here, but I wanted to really fit the Victorian theme. And I wanted it to match the house a little bit more. And yeah, so then I thought, what do I do with this hallway space? And I thought, why not like a kid's corner? Why not like a playroom section? Her bedroom, like her bedroom, I feel might have been even a tad bit bigger than the master, but it still didn't feel like enough for like play area. So we've just created this kind of like play area. We've got some toys, a blathy, uh, you know, dollhouse, lots of stuff from the little campus kit this activity table. I then moved the Blathy into the kids' room. I thought that that was a better use of the space. And then we swap it around with the activity table. It's just a beautiful area. And then we go to the balcony. So this is the last part that we are furnishing for the home. And I wanted to bring in some of those vampire pack couches because I love them so much. So I thought to use them out here in the space and we've got an easel and uh, just a pet bed. Kind of looks very comforting, uh, you know, that you're just just a space to have a conversation. And let's get into the tour. So we are live in game and we are just going to go through the tour. So this is the landscaping, as you can see around the, the build. We, we've got a little bit of, I've used the kind of matching romantic garden stuff. Uh, it's not matching, but it looks like it's very matching. Uh, it's, it's the play equipment from that pack uh, with the get together fences. I thought that was really sweet. So there's that beautiful little garden section with the, the little ballerina and it's such a sweet little space. We've got a really nice like entertainment area here. I've really used white. I've used a lot of white beiges. I thought the little teapot was really sweet. Uh, this Jungle Adventure potted plant set, I'm obsessed with. I want to use it in like every build. <laughs> <laughs> then we then have a chess table as well. I'm going to go to the front of the house and let's go inside. So our little entryway is beautiful space. I think right from the get go, you get the color scheme of this house. It's that blush, beige, pinks, the blues, the whites, the, the middle tone brown. It's just absolutely represented so well in this home and it's just in every room. Uh, just some paintings, uh, old vintage lamp, really playing on that theme. So you go through an archway, uh, you've got like a Victorian bookshelf, um, you know, you've got some candles, this beautiful like lots of like curtains and what have you. I love this decor to the max um, couch. I love how it interacts with this space and how it gives a little bit of elegance to the space. It matches really well with those curtains. Actually, that's a very good like uh, set kind of thing there. Love these roses. The chokehold that this rose has on me is, is crazy. It's a beautiful rose, absolutely lovely. And then you walk through this archway and then you go into the kitchen and dining space. This kitchen's beautiful. I really loved the backsplash that we had in the kitchen. I think it just kind of lifts this section. I don't know, I, I'm for it. Again, we've got the mugs and the sink. I thought that was a cute little trick that I'd seen on Twitter. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and yeah, uh, I really loved this wreath as well. It kind of gives a little bit more into that Christmas time. And also the blues were like matching in that area. Again, we've got the a little cluttered hutch. I've got a little dog statue. I thought that was so cute. Pay homage to maybe that there's a dog in this house. And then like, do I need to say more? 
this this is fabulous this is my favorite part of the house it's just so beautiful to me I just look at it for hours <laughs> and yeah so we then go into a very basic bathroom which is I really love the mirror in here I thought it was very appealing uh we did put a cut, couple of clutter items i thought that was really sweet and yeah and then just this back area it's just got stuff for the pet and it was just literally a hallway that it didn't really need to be anything more but you can see what i mean by like kind of the stains on the glass it's not my favorite but i think it'll do for the space all right here is that office nook i thought this was very sweet i love the pink tones these university chairs came in clutch for this. I really didn't expect much from them, but I, I was really surprised to see how well they matched. Uh, a beautiful little um, office nook. Then the, we've got that playroom. I think the playroom is really sweet. Uh, a really nice little space. That master bedroom, uh, very basic in here. Nothing too uh, snazzy. I, I did use obviously a lot of clutter from the new kits, the everyday clutter kit in here. And then the girls room. This is a beautiful space, very princessy, very pink. Sorry this house wants to jump a lot <laughs> uh very pretty so lots of clutter love the fairy lights and that princessy type bed it matches with the wall uh the kind of the closet wardrobe i thought that was really sweet yeah and then we have the front balcony which we've got lots of skill building i've even got some knitting uh an easel kind of like an older easel like something that's used and some more dried flowers and yeah, so that is the build today, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I absolutely did. I think it's such a beautiful little home. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.